Hey, welcome to Binge Bar. This may come as a shocker, but NHL players have opinions and views on politics, just like we do. And regardless of whatever yours or theirs may be, everybody is entitled to them and shouldn't be treated or viewed any differently. Today, we'll be taking a couple of minutes to talk about some of the Trump supporters of the NHL. Notably, the most talented player on this list comes from Massachusetts and now resides in Buffalo, being the captain of the Sabres, of course, Jack Eichel. Nicknamed the Eichel Tower for his dominating presence, it's no shock that this Massachusetts native puts his faith and trust into a man like the Donald. He was quoted saying, I'm big on to each his own. If you disagree, that's completely fine. But whoever is president, I respect and root for because he is our leader. He received a lot of mixed emotions from fans nonetheless. If you follow hockey, there's a very good chance you listen to the Spittin' Chicklets podcast. Ryan Whitney, retired NHLer, Chicklets co-host, and the face of Pink Whitney by New Amsterdam Vodka, is also an evident supporter of President Trump. Witt has tweeted numerous times about Trump, including, The 45th president in our nation's history will be sworn into office, and I will support him because he is our leader and I love our country. Along with this picture. Well, if you're not a Trump fan, this one may just break your heart. As the next guy on our list is not only a goalie, but he is someone admired by just about everyone in the league. Except maybe for Buffalo. Robin Lanner may have not physically said he admires Donald, but the image we are going to show you just may be better than words. While he was still on the Buffalo Sabres, for Military Appreciation Night, Leonard had a special mask designed. The decals included infantrymen from the 82nd Airborne Division and logos from the five branches of the U.S. military. On the back on the bottom, there was a small picture of the then President-elect Trump in black letters. TJ Oshie supports the Orange Man as well, or at least we can assume so as he dressed his two children up for Halloween as Donald and Melania Trump. He wrote on Instagram along with the picture, all in good fun. But as you can imagine, Oshi, the American hero, received a lot of hate for such an innocent thing. The night before, Connor McDavid went to a party dressed up as Donald as well. Results were relatively the same. Too bad Oshi didn't know sooner. And if you truly believe that Donald Trump is a sexist, don't worry because there are even some supporters in the NWHL and even in the CWHL. Drew Burns is known to retweet mainly pro press things on all her accounts along with other players in these leagues. But there's one player that I want to take a second to talk about who said probably the funniest thing across the board and that's what was said by Kelly Stack. The direct quote was, First Lady Melania Trump. Sounds better than First Lady Bill Clinton. Logan Brown along with Brendan Lemieux and many others notably tweeted, Today we make America great again on the day Trump's reign began. Even though these are minor scaled, you can just picture the uproar of a comment section that they all received. He may not be the biggest goaltender name in the league, or even in this video for that fact, but for those that know him, Thomas Grice almost had a career ending moment when he liked a photo on Instagram that, well, compared Hillary Clinton to Adolf Hitler. Ooh, Grice, as you can imagine, unlike that photo incredibly fast, Probably, if we're looking at times and stats, that was the fastest his hands ever were since joining the NHL. While he was on CBJ, tweeted directly to the president saying, Mr. Trump, your plane is landing in 45 minutes in Columbus and some of the hashtag CBJ fellas would love to meet you. Hashtag legend. Now the one who probably received the most hate compared to any other players on this list was New York Rangers D-man, coming off a career year, Tony D'Angelo. Along with that, D'Angelo has posted his conservative views on Trump, taxes, the COVID-19 virus, POTUS, etc. He has retweeted some of the most controversial statements that Trump has tweeted, and when asked about them, he stands his ground and will even respond back to fans on the subject if he disagrees with what they are attacking him with. Well, that just about concludes the video for today. If you like this video and would like to see more, please like, subscribe, and comment below. Thank you. We'll see you next time.